In 1888, Thomas Edison attended a lecture given by photographer Edward Muybridge, who demonstrated a device that created the illusion of motion, known as a zoopraxiscope. Edison may have been impressed, but refused to collaborate with inventor Muybridge. Instead, Edison assigned his employee, William Kennedy Dixon, to replicate the invention as he began the patent process, naming himself as the sole inventor of the projector. Many scholars today credit Dixon, not Edison, for the invention of the kinetoscope, a single-person projector in which one can see the illusion of motion. Edison also invented and patented the first motion picture camera, the kinetograph. He originally hoped to link the motion picture projector to his phonograph, synchronizing sound for the full motion picture experience like this early test. Unable to be consistent, Edison settled for silent motion pictures. The first Edison film produced and publicly distributed was Blacksmith Scene. At a public kinetoscope parlor, opened by the Holland Brothers in New York City, on the corner of 27th and Broadway, on April 14th, 1894. These are some of the first short films Edison produced and distributed. Much like today, Edison lived during a time of great wealth disparity in American history. Most of the wealthy class secured their social position by maintaining an iron grip over monopolies and using organized cartels. American cinema's birth was no different. Edison wanted complete dominion over cinema and would use his power and influence to form the Motion Picture Patents Company, better known as the Edison Trust. Eastman Kodak, who owned the patent on raw film stock, was one such member. Without their products, one could not shoot a motion picture. Bootleggers would attempt to make their own film stock or steal unused stock. The Edison Trust aggressively attacked violators with far more than litigation by corrupt New York prosecutors and judges, but with extreme solutions, such as hiring the mob. Not all Americans were happy with the idea of one man having absolute dominion over an entire industry. Some filmmakers and distributors looked for alternatives to the fat cat stranglehold on capitalism. They would look west to the frontier, far from New York courthouses and corruption. But most important of all, the cross-country distance was just too expensive for the mob to enforce. <laughs>